Hey everyone, it's Chris Barnes. You're listening to Read, Watch, and Listen on the East Brunswick Public Library Podcast Network. We have a special guest today. It's Harry Marks. He's a local author and an associate producer at Grim and Mild. Harry, thank you for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Now, Harry is a bit of a library legend. You have graciously donated your time to a bunch of programs. You are all about the creativity and creating content of all forms. So why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So in the past, I have done a couple of different podcasting seminars at the East Brunswick Public Library that have gone really well, along with a friend of mine, Haim. And beyond that, I was at the local author day that you guys held a couple months ago. That was a lot of fun. I did a panel. And yeah, I mean, I work way too much for one person. I've got two books that I put out, one a couple of years ago, and then one, God, I think it was this past year. Time is soup because of COVID, so I honestly have no idea when things happen anymore. And I also write for a couple of podcasts. I write for Cabinet of Curiosities, not the Guillermo del Toro one on Netflix. It's a, a podcast that's been around for about four or five years. And then the podcast Lore I've written for as well, both hosted by Aaron Menke. So yeah, I work for Grim and Mild as an associate producer, and I do writing and research for them and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Yeah, Harry is also a great Twitter follow. You have all kinds of interesting things that you're doing. So so yes, I mean, this is the first time, I mean, you've been in the library circles for years, and this is the first time that we're actually sitting down and talking to each other. So I already feel like I know you, which is kind of interesting and weird at the same time. But it, 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 it's that parasocial relationship of hearing me and seeing me at all these different places, and then finally, you know, getting to sit down and talk. Yeah. So again, thank you for being on the show today. So this is Read, Watch, Listen, and we talk about what you've been enjoying, whether it's the book, the music, movies, you name it. So let's start out with what have you been reading lately? So I have been reading, I got to say, ever since the pandemic first happened and there was just a whole bunch of stuff surrounding that time period, I hadn't read anything for about three years. And then I, I had started a couple of books and I, I hadn't really gotten anywhere. And then I recently started reading Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercott, who happens to be one of my colleagues at Grim and Mild. It's a terrific book. It's about Baba Yaga, the house on chicken legs, that story, that myth, and then two of these characters that she's written about Bellatine, and I believe the other character's name is Isaac. And it's it's terrific. I mean, she's a brilliant writer. And just the the prose is so juicy and crunchy. And it's just really fun to sink your teeth into. And I've absolutely been loving it. And that sounds uh, pretty interesting. So is there anything else that you've been reading? Or what do you look for in a book when you get the chance to read? When I get the chance to read, if I have the fortitude to sit down and read a book, I, my tastes vary. It depends. It really depends on the mood I'm in. I'll go for anything from a Western to lit fic to an adventure novel or a thriller. Like it, re it really depends on other stuff I've enjoyed recently. Like I'll watch a John Wick film and then I'll read a whole bunch of thrillers and shoot them ups and stuff. And then I'll watch Back to the Future 3 and then I'll go on a Western binge for a while. So it really depends on what else I'm consuming at the time. <laughs> No, no, that totally makes a lot of sense. It's kind of one thing follows up with the other. Yeah. So uh, speaking of following up, it's a nice transition there. What have you been listening to recently? For the, the briefest glimmer of time, James Taylor had put his 2007 video for his one-man band album up on YouTube. So I've been enjoying that. I have the, the CD, DVD somewhere. And I haven't been able to find it recently, but he threw it up and I've been enjoying it. And yeah, I mean, that's uh, James Taylor is my go to comfort listen. So I've really been enjoying that. Also, tis the season. We've defrosted Michael Buble. So he's been on repeat in the house. And also I picked up on vinyl. There was a vinyl store online that was having a big Black Friday sale. So I snagged Ella Fitzgerald's Christmas album and the Bing Crosby Christmas album. Oh. So we, we keep it classic in the house. Yeah, I would say those are yeah, obviously the classics. I, I think it's like a prerequisite. If you're going to have Christmas music available, you have to have some of that, whether it's, you know, on vinyl, an old CD somewhere, queued up mm -hmm. on your Spotify playlist. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. If you don't have that going, then someone's going to look at you a little off. Like, what's it's, going it's on? It's not really Christmas. No. <laughs> so, yeah, th those are all, all good choices. Now, are you a collector of vinyl or is it just like a passing interest? I grew up with vinyl in the house. My dad had a huge vinyl collection. I wouldn't say I collect, but usually if I'm going to buy an album, I'm going to look for it on vinyl. I'm not going to buy CDs, and I don't even think I can buy digital anymore. I have an Apple Music subscription, and I have Spotify and stuff. So, you know, for casual listening or if I'm doing dishes in the kitchen, I'll throw it on my headphones from Spotify. But if I'm looking to own music, I'll look for vinyl first. 
oh, I, I I totally know how that is. There's no reason for me to have all the Iron Maiden reissues, even though I bought them at CD at one point in my high school years. But it's very nice having it there. And it makes for a great talking point when people come over to visit. So it's like the new social cash. Right. You can show off your vinyl and be like, check what I've invested in that you probably don't like, but I just want you to know that I have it. Exactly. <laughs> all right. And our last thing we're going to talk about, Harry, is what have you been watching? I watch a lot. I'm sad that John Oliver is on hiatus until the new year. I just started the Wednesday series on Netflix about Wednesday Adams and the Adams family. That's really good. Tim Burton, Danny Elfman, you can't go wrong with that combination. We've been watching mostly Christmas movies this season. I still have to do my yearly rewatch of Die Hard and Scrooged, but we've been watching the Santa Claus movies with my son. I got to watch Krampus again this year, the the horror comedy. So it's, it's going to be a, a festive season of action and horror. No, no, it is the season. So I actually have a tangent question for you. Since Die Hard is kind of recently, it's been finally accepted as being the Christmas movie that it is. Do you consider Batman Returns a Christmas movie? Absolutely. Okay. This means we're, we're now friends in real life. Yeah. No, that is that is a Christmas movie. It, you've got the lighting of the tree in, in Gotham Center and, and all of that. Yeah, no, that's a Christmas movie. Okay. There. Yes. Friends for life. Harry, thank you so much for being on the show. Before we leave, is there anything you want to plug? Where can we find you online? Because you are always putting out something interesting and I will not do it justice. Yeah, I mean, you can find links to my books, The Library at the Center of the Earth and The Prophet at my link tree, which is where I just put all of the links to my stuff. Linktr.ee slash hcmarks. Or you can look up The Prophet, Harry Marks on Kindle, Library at the Center of the Earth, Harry Marks at Kindle. I'm up on Amazon. So there you go. Great. Harry. Thank you so much for stopping by the show today. You've been listening to Read, Watch, Listen on the East Brunswick Public Library Podcast Network. Shout out to our producer, Melissa Hosick, who is editing this as we speak. I'm Chris Barnes. Thank you for listening. You can check out our podcasts at www.ebpl.org slash podcast. Thanks and see you at the library. 